We all know who Ryan Reynolds is. He's Deadpool. He's Deadpool again. He's Detective Pikachu. He's Green Lantern. He's the free guy. But he's definitely not just an actor. He's an extremely savvy investor. According to Forbes, Ryan Reynolds was the second highest paid actor of 2020, just after The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, earning an impressive $71.5 million. And now with his popularity and cachet, he commands almost 20 million per film he's the lead. And he had an estimated net worth of $150 million. But Ryan Reynolds holds a stake in Mint Mobile of about 25%. And with telecom giant T-Mobile set to acquire Mint for up to $1.35 billion in cash and stock, the value of his stake would be at about 340 million easily doubling his net worth. We've seen actors in the past get involved in plenty of business ventures, but Ryan Reynolds seems to be doing extremely well with his investments so far. So I wanted to explore and explain what he's done to help his investments grow and become so successful. Aviation Gin. Aviation American Gin is a brand of gin that originated from Portland, Oregon, founded in 2006. And before Ryan Reynolds came on board, it was relatively unknown. In 2018, Reynolds acquired a minority stake in the business, becoming co-owner and brand ambassador for the gin. By starring in the ad campaigns and injecting them with his trademark self-deprecating humor, and by treating the ads as a piece of entertainment rather than just a commercial to push a product, he got the brand enough attention to sell it for $610 million to spirits giant Diageo, who owns brands like Johnny Walker, Smirnoff, and Guinness. After the sale in 2020, Reynolds maintained an ownership interest, and since the deal was announced, the US shares have gone up about 25%. The ethos that Ryan Reynolds brought to the advertising was to create comedic skits and to poke fun at current social media events. Making viral ads and making people want to search for the videos on a platform like YouTube rather than something they have to sit through while watching a TV show. And this included the viral aviation gin spot, making fun of the controversial Peloton ad by using the same actress while that controversy was still hot. On top of all this, Reynolds has used product placement to promote aviation gin. Both Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson starred in the 2021 Netflix action film Red Notice, and according to Concave Brand Tracking, out of the one hour and 58 minutes of runtime, around 28 minutes of the movie included some form of product placement, which included Johnson's brand of tequila, Terramana, as well as Reynolds' aviation gin. Aviation gin has also appeared in the hitman's wife's Bodyguard, Six Underground, and A Simple Favor, in which Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds' wife, was the star. Wrexham AFC. In 2021, Ryan Reynolds became the co-owner of the oldest Welsh football club, alongside actor Rob McElhenney, most known for his role in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. With the pair investing $2.5 million and purchasing 100% control of the club from the Wrexham Supporters Trust. The two are in the process of growing the club, who currently sit in the National League, the fifth tier of English football, in hopes of bringing them back into the English Football League. Before their arrival at the club, Ryan and Rob had the vision and the idea to turn the journey into a documentary series. After being inspired by Netflix's Sunderland Till I Die, a series which followed Sunderland AFC's season, giving fans and audiences a view behind the scenes and giving them access into the daily happenings at the club, which saw a rise in popularity for the club. And with the release of Welcome to Wrexham on FX and Hulu, the pair have done just that. Through their influence as celebrities and their understanding of creative storytelling, as they saw the potential for an underdog story, from them injecting a bit of energy, influence and money into a lower division team in Wrexham, they've given the club global recognition and are cashing in from it. Now the club earns $3.2 million in revenue simply from the docuseries itself, which has been greenlit for seasons two and three. The club also has over 850,000 followers on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And the club has turned this social media boost into a revenue opportunity as well, with kit sponsorships from TikTok, Aviation Gin, Expedia, and Vistaprint. A venture of buying a sports club in such a low division seems extremely risky and most of the times you're not likely to see a return. If anything, you're just burning cash. But Ryan Reynolds managed to make this a win-win-win. For himself and Rob, 
for the club itself and for the supporters. Now onto the big one, Mint Mobile. In 2019, Ryan Reynolds bought a 20 to 25% stake in the company, which was a mobile virtual network operator, something completely different from his prior investments. Reynolds had seen the landscape of celebrity investments and saw that they were generally getting behind and promoting luxury and aspirational items and projects. And he saw it as sort of gimmicky and handicapping the product. So he thought about zagging in the opposite direction and getting into something hyper practical that everyone could use. Reynolds became the brand ambassador for Mint and got to work on working on the marketing campaigns. And since his involvement, Mint saw the highest traffic on their website and phone lines off the back of Reynolds marketing initiatives and announcements. Only two years later in 2021, the MVNO company was put up for sale after seeing tremendous growth since Ryan's investment. The marketing price for the business was 600 to 800 million, with Mint seeing a revenue increase of an insane 50,000% between late 2017 and late 2020. And like I said before, Mint is now being purchased by T-Mobile for $1.35 billion. And it's expected that Ryan Reynolds will continue in his creative role for the brand. Ryan Reynolds has truly successfully leveraged his fame and influence to help grow his investments. And I don't think there's anyone that has been anywhere near as successful as him so far. He has over 21 million Twitter followers and over 48 million Instagram followers. And he uses both platforms to promote his products and various brands without alienating his audiences. Importantly, he doesn't just exclusively push and peddle the brands he owns and has investments in, but rather he weaves in his own funny personal commentary, his sarcastic quips, his unique movie promotions, as well as giving a peek into his marriage and family life with Blake Lively. He's honestly just been able to maintain that everyman charm, even though he's about the furthest thing away from being an everyman, but it's just so clear that he commits to what he's doing. And people don't view him as some sort of sellout that's just trying to cash in a quick check. But most importantly, he just endears himself to, well, everyone. So whatever he attaches his name to seems to turn into gold. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.